so we're here today to demonstrate how to uh, to mix tints. So this is applicable for Year Seven students who are going to be doing this in their projects. Uh, you may find yourself given one of these by your teacher. It gives you the opportunity to write your name, and underneath uh, allows you to uh, to put in the colours we're going to be mixing here today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my name on it. Okay. Do not leave this to the end because obviously we're going to be painting on this section and it becomes a bit of a nightmare if you haven't put your name on it and you're having to put your hand on wet paint. Um, so get into good habit to do that first of all. So on my palette here, you can see that I've already got my paint laid out. Um, I've got my poster paint we're using here today. So we've got some, uh, some red and I've got some white. So you can see that we get, these are the colours we're going to be mixing. And I've also got myself a nice fine detail brush. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a nice point on it. Okay. Try and avoid picking scruffy looking brushes with lots of stray hairs. Try and get something with a nice point because hopefully we're going to be getting into these edges, into these corners, and we want to try and make it nice and neat and, and make sure we've got good presentation when we're painting as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up a very light tint of, uh, of red, which is going to almost look quite pink, I can imagine. So if we take some of our our red here and we're going to mix that with our white over on the side here and you see I'm creating quite a nice rosy or light uh, light pink here you might call it some sort of baby pink so I'm going to give that a good mix up make sure you do give it a good mix up and turn your brush around get rid of all of the uh, all of the red off the actual top of the brush because you don't want it to be streaky okay so make sure you give that a good spin around and mix that up as well and then when you're ready, try and brush your, your brush down and get a nice fine tip on it again. And I tend to like starting in the corners here. So with the uh, tip of the brush, I'm going to get into that corner there. And I'm going to then work away from that corner, trying to make sure that I'm staying within the lines and being as neat as I possibly can. And you should notice that I'm holding the brush really low down. Hold it on this metal grip, that's what it's there for. It is actually meant to act as a grip, okay? So if you're holding it up here, you've got no control, it's not a wand, you're not Harry Potter. Okay, so hold it really low down on the metal grip there. That'll give you control and I'm resting my hand firmly on the table and that way it's going to stop my hand from shaking. Lots of problems are caused when students have shaky hands. So that's one way of, of trying to avoid that. Again taking care with corners. You might notice there that I've turned the paper slightly, okay? It's quite difficult to, uh, you know, when you're working away from corners and working on edges, sometimes you might find it useful, for example, as I come down to this corner, that's nice and straight, but I'm not going to go across like that. What I'll do is I'll turn the paper and bring the brush down towards me, and then I'll get a little bit of extra control on it. And I'm also looking, as I'm doing this, I'm looking for patches. Is it, light? is it too light? Is it too dark? Have I spread the paint too thinly in a certain area? And that's something you need to try and make sure that you get a nice even consistency all over the, uh, the shape of the object that we're doing. Okay, so again, I'm going to turn the paper, run down, and you can see that I've nearly finished now this section. Last little bit, just turn it round so I'm not putting my hand in the paint. And there we go, that's our first section done, our nice pale pink. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work down from this and they're going to get slightly darker. So using this section here that I've already mixed up, I'm going to mix in a tiny bit of red, that's going to make that darker. I'm going to paint in the next section there. Okay, so there we have it. There's my finished tint sheet. Uh, you can see that I started up here with my very light pink and uh, gradually uh, each, each block changed, uh, changed tint and got, became slightly darker until we get right down here, which is virtually uh, the red as you can see on my palette. So you could do this a slightly different way. Uh, you could start with the uh, red and then gradually mix white into it, or you could just start with white and gradually mix red into it okay so there's different ways that, that you can go about doing this don't worry if you 
flip the corner there. I've uh, you know I've done it. We're all human. We make mistakes. So there we go. The other thing is to just bear in mind that you know the way that you control your palette, the way you use your palette. You might be asked to share palettes. So as you can see here, I've tried to keep my palette nice and neat. You know, if I was sharing this palette with someone else sitting next to me, you know, they could still work on this area. I'm not affecting their work at all. Um, and it's also worth thinking about how much paint you use. I've slightly over, you know, given myself too much paint here. Uh, I've misjudged it slightly. So, you know, if I was to do this again, I probably wouldn't pour out quite as much paint. This would be the perfect amount uh, if there was two of you using the palette, but for one person, it's probably a little bit too much there. So, um, what I would do now is I'd get a, a palette knife, open up my, my paint tops. Scoop, in, uh, scoop off the, uh, the excess paint, the bit that I'm, I'm not going to be using. Make sure you don't get any of the pink contaminated area, just get the nice clean colour. That's going back in the white and then obviously the same for the red. If I haven't touched it, it's not contaminated, that can go back in there and that can be reused and then we're not wasting resources. But uh, there we have it on my finished tint sheet.